Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share a few general ways that you can save different types of waste in your house and garden. Let's get into the video. One of the easiest ways to put a no junk mail sign on your letterbox and save all that wasteful advertising and junk mail coming in to your home needing then to just go back out onto landfill. A simple little thing for electricity is to change your regular light bulbs to LED light bulbs. Now these consume far less energy and they have a lifespan of about 30 to 50,000 hours. You can go one step further and reduce the amount of light electricity that you use and burn some candles. I'm a big fan of soy candles. A nice tip my grandfather always told me, make sure you turn the lights off before you leave the room. We do our best in this house to limit anything that needs batteries, but if there are things that you can't avoid, then buying rechargeable batteries is a great way to save waste. Thousands of tons of clothes end up in landfill every year. And one of the ways to save waste is to repair the clothes that you have, look after them better, but also you can repair anything in your house that needs fixing. I find that it's a really nice way to become more conscious of what I have and looking after it well instead of living where I'm just using something and then chucking it out the minute that it's not working efficiently. Now when it comes to rubbish we do our best to use glass, tin and cardboard where possible and reduce or completely eliminate the use of plastic. They say around 300 million tons a year of plastic is just sent to landfill. Tiny percentage gets recycled. And you just do the best that you can do. One of these I find is bringing produce bags to collect your fruit and veg in the supermarket. Another general waste in the house is water. And did you know that if we leave the tap running when we're washing our teeth, it wastes supposedly about six liters for every minute of washing our teeth. So a simple little thing of turning the tap off and knowing that waste is never good, no matter what form it's in. Another waste of water is the washing machine. What I do is I use the quick wash. It's a lower temperature and it uses less water and a less electricity. And then you can ditch the dryer altogether. And if you have outside space, Hang your clothes outside in the fresh air. Even in Ireland, with all the rain we get, there's still days with sun and wind. And the clothes smell wonderful. And it also is an activity. You get out into the fresh air. Staying in the garden, apart from all the food waste that goes to landfill, composting is great if you've outdoor space. And I also love using it because of all the waste buying all those bags of compost, they're usually non-recycled plastic, and I can use this homemade compost instead. And I have another video if you want to see how to compost in a little bit more detail. Look at all those wonderful worms, they are so happy. I used to constantly buy new plants from nurseries and now I'll get clippings from friends or neighbors and then replant in the garden. And it's a really nice circular way of doing things and it builds a really nice community and you get to have a cup of tea and a chat. It's just so simple to do. And everybody is then looking after one another and caring for one another. A really simple fertilizer for the garden I use is nettles. Pop them into a bucket, let the rainwater fill up the bucket and then a few Weeks or months later, you will have this wonderful fertilizer that leafy green vegetables will absolutely adore. And it will be nice and smelly and it's packed full of nutrition. If you haven't got a garden, I find one of the best tips is to grow herbs, whether it's even on a windowsill. And just start with one herb. These are chives. 
Most herbs in supermarkets come in plastic packaging that is non-recyclable. Parsley is really simple to grow and great for digestion. Thyme is another one that grows easily and you can use in your meals or as maybe a herbal hair rinse. And then mint is another favorite of mine because it's a nice way of getting herbal tea into you without using tea bags that are mostly lined in plastic. So there are just a few general tips I have for how we reduce our waste in the house and garden. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'd love to know any tips you have for how you save waste in the house. Chat to me down below or over on Instagram if you like. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.